I bought a new power supply for my server because my other power supply was blown up with the catastrophic power failure. Hi, my name is Victor Bart and welcome by Retro Machines and in this video we're gonna build in the power supply in the server and I got some comments about my UPS and many people think it's a 2 light unit but it is a 3000 unit. Maybe the batteries are not so good anymore. What I think that happened is when the power supply in the server failed it shut down also the UPS. So I still need to test out the UPS if it's still okay. For now the server is not on it. So uh, yeah, let's see in the future if I will keep this UPS or not. So the power supply that I cut is this 2U unit from Seasonic. It's the SS600 H2U Active PFC. And the reason that I cut this unit specifically is that all the right cables were attached. And I paid 125 euros for it, like used, but it is like brand new, it's old stock. So let's hope it is a good power supply. So we have a 24 pin, we have two 8 pins because I have a dual CPU motherboard. We have two SATAs for the SSDs. Here we have two Molex and a floppy Molex, another two Molex, another two Molex, another two Molex and a Molex and a floppy connector. So this power supply has a perfect cable layout for my server, I don't need any splitter in it. So the server is shut down and I love this rack console. So uh, let's get it out of the rack onto the bench, shot the power supply, boot it up and then maybe we have for one time a short video. This is how the server ran the last two days with a two big power supply here and the cover half on it. But with my Noctua cooling it was perfectly fine because I have actively cooled uh, CPUs, good airflow so it was not a problem. And this 550 watt delta power supply was fine to run my server but I have low power E5 2650 V2Ls. So that doesn't uh, use that much power. I'm happy with this power supply, it was an easy fit, all the cables were long enough, no extension, no splitters, just perfect. So let's see if it powers up my server. The LSE card is now detecting drives. Six hard drives and two SSDs detected. Two CPUs, 128 GB and two SSDs for the boot drives. Okay, everything is fine, so this was an easy swap. In the last video I upgraded my network switch to the HP2910 48 ports with power over Ethernet. And look what came in the mail today. The 10 GB SFP Plus ports for in the back of the switch. So soon I will upgrade this switch with 4 10 gig ports. And that would be amazing in my network. My server is up and running without any problems, so it's good to have the new power supply, it's a brand new unit, but old stock, so good for many years. If you like to support me, you can support me monthly on Patreon, and for one dollar a month you can join my awesome Discord server, and you can use my Amazon affiliated links. Thanks for watching.